Hello, this is a Beckstein Model 4 Grand Piano. It's 220 centimetres long, uh, made in 1893. Wonderful piano, and the veneer uh, is particularly special on these. We've loved restoring them, and this has been fully restored. Now, having said that, it does have a major problem, and that is the touch is very, very heavy, and the up weight is also heavy. Uh, we'll just have a look and see how much that is. So there's 51 grams there, and if we tap the bottom of the keyboard with the uh, right hand pedal down as well it should go down no movement at all so adding another 9.5 grams still no movement and another 9.5 grams and yes we've just got some movement now just about so that was middle c nearly 70 grams this is uh, c two c's below and slightly less weight there so about 67 and they all vary a bit so we've got different weightings on on different ones that one's not going down with the same weight on it and so on so it's that one is so that's lighter that's that's better but they're all varied and right some of the base according to the client is up to 80 plus 80 grams so that's obviously very very high and very uncomfortable and the up weight also is very high there's the up weight that's about 30 grams it'd be nice if uh, ideal if it came just started to come up with 30 grams but it's coming up very easily and there's 40 grams and coming up with 40 grams so it's about 40 grams up weight let's try this d here and that's coming up even faster so uh, the, lower, the lower the up weight the nicer it feels here's a fully restored beckstein in stock similar it's a slightly longer piano model three uh, that's 140 centimeters but the up weight's around about 30 grams so that's ideal now the piano has been fully restored apart from the rest blank being uh, the original which we would have replaced you can see here the tide action has been replaced and um, if you, I'm sorry I haven't got a tide action in stock to show you but uh, there's other videos about replacing tide actions and you can see this this circle here that's where the holes have been filled where there was a rocker system and the new uh, normal capstan modern systems being fitted that's commonly done on Beckstein grants and so that's something that we, we do when we fully restore them as well now the action is incredibly stiff to pull in and out and that made me suspicious straight away because a restorer uh, would normally lubricate the action so it's easy to get in and out because they need to pull it in and out many many times to voice the piano and well to do lots of work and um, with all my force using my legs here I can hardly push it in uh, so and I would worry about breaking the hammers so the first thing you want to do is to get the action smooth lubricating maybe it doesn't quite fit properly and then start the restoration and also see at the top that the hammers have been hitting the frame uh, so that's another sign of i wonder if the work's been done properly but obviously whoever's restored it wanted to do a really perfect job because they've uh, changed the bottom levers um, now i thought that we could probably uh, we could probably just weight the keys and that's what i expected and there there's plenty of room for weights but in so, some of them like this bottom f here there's lots of weights hardly any room um, and the weighting problem is so extreme I don't think we could overcome it uh, we're just waiting the keys there's more to it than that and that's where I'd like to ask anyone who's watching this for their opinion so if you can help at all whether you've had more experience than I have in this now the problem to me is that the lever has been replaced and we'll look at another one where the tide action has been replaced and not the lever and we'll see the see the difference before we do that let's look at the lever um, this is where I, I'm used to this sort of voicing and regulation and so on. I'm not replacing the levers. My colleague is away at the moment, who's uh, our chief technician, and he'll no doubt come up with the right solution. But these are good levers. They're Renner levers, um, and uh, you'd expect them to work well. I'm just wondering if they've put the right lever in the piano, and also the, the place where the capstan hits is so important. After, as these obviously have been put on, they, they, it would certainly... Uh, reduce the weight if the capstan was closer to here. Um, let's look at one where it's been fully restored that we got in stock and you'll see what's normally done. Here's the Beckstein Model 3 that we have in stock, very similar piano and again the, um, ro the rocker system has been replaced with the capstans. But we, if we look at the lever, lever, these have not been really replaced, they're the original Beckstein levers. The other question I need to get my, our chief technician to look at is whether the role, the, the um, dimensions and geometry of the action is correct with the top action. Um, so there's quite a lot to think about. 
So this is uh, this is works wonderfully. So this is obviously correct. So you can see that all that's been put on here is this 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 part's been added to the rest the original action when the rocker system has been changed for the capstan. Um, and the capstan is quite far forward on this one. So that obviously, but it's only two millimeters different. I measured the other one compared to this. Um, so I'm not sure that's going to solve the weighting problem. So my my thoughts are that this, this is a much lighter lever. Uh, the geometry of the lever is better. Maybe the positioning of this. So uh, we'll have another investigation that I, I don't do um, this work myself normally. I'm just sort of vaguely aware of what needs to be done. Um, and uh, we'll do the fine regulation and so on. But um, our technician hopefully will be able to look into that and, and discover what the problem is with the weighting. So back to the one that we're trying to assess again. You can see the difference. See, this is a new lever and uh, doesn't, uh, it, maybe it's a lot heavier. The angles might, the geometry might not be correct here. So that needs all measuring. As I say, it's not my area of expertise. I'm um, just aware that that might probably be the problem that's what i think is the problem so thank you very much for watching i do hope if you're a technician you'll have some insight into this be able to help. just as a postscript here the, the, it's a piano teacher who's a very serious and dedicated teacher who's bought this piano and as you can see it's played quite a lot because this is since 2016 played a bit before i think um whether the restorer put it into an auction because he couldn't work out uh, what was the problem or the previous owner did because it was in a an auction um, if you do buy from auctions then obviously it's really important and recommend that you get a piano technician to help you to choose the pianos especially if you think there's a, might be a problem on it and just to finish off with it's such a good model of piano that uh, you can understand why someone would buy the piano uh, because the stringing's been done well there's many things been done well so there was an intention was to do this well but um, unfortunately the action is really important. Voicing is not, not that good either, so the piano hasn't really been voiced. Quite varied. Uh, not surprising if the action's so stiff to pull in and out. So if you are buying a piano um, privately or in an auction, then it's really important to get a technician to help you, because he, especially if there's, you think there's a problem on it, and as there is in this case, because it's too heavy, uh, but um, technicians will always, I'm sure, be willing to help. They don't want, they want people to buy something that that's, uh, disappoints them in the end. So uh, please do enlist the help of technicians as much as you can. Uh, they're, they're there to help and uh, really more than willing to do so. You can see here the, ba the um, soundboard's been refinished and the badge has been kept. So the top restoration, that will be replaced normally because it, it's a bit unsightly as you can see and in fact the varnish seems to be pulling off it see there's the stock fully restored Beckstein that we have and as uh, the old um, decals been taken off and new ones been put on they are available for these pianos sometimes uh, the, you see the wrong one put on but normally it's easy to get the right decal to put on and then the restoration obviously done as well as poss can possibly be done um, so there's a, there's a world of difference between a, a restoration, again, this bridge has been capped so that you end up with better down bearing, uh, or the bridge may have been needed capping anyway because it was starting to crack. So thank you very much for listening again. Um, sorry, this is sort of a postscript on the previous video, but I think it's worth uh, thinking a bit about buying a second-hand piano, uh, buying, obviously, from a reputable source, and also enlisting technicians to help you. Buy. Now, if you're a technician, I've been watching all the way through this video you're probably itching to comment and say well i know what the problem is uh, these are steinway levers that have been fitted onto a beckstein and you can identify the steinway lever by this chappy here you see the uh, the hammer rest rail which is, is is a rail on a beckstein and here is their individual uh, as they are on all steinway so this is the steinway lever fitted to a beckstein and going back to the Bex, the, to, uh, the fully restored Beckstein we have in stock, you can see the difference, you see. And um, there's the hammer rail, and the hammers rest on that rail. They don't rest, they're just slightly above it. It's called the hammer rest rail. And um, there's the Beckstein lever, with a here is hinged downwards. Um, so clearly the problem is that there's the wrong lever being placed on the piano. So going back to the one that we're assessing, the question is, can we manage to 
get away with this without replacing it with a Beckstein lever? And um, that's the question. So if you've got the answer to that, let me know. But I suspect that we will need to put uh, the right weight lever. That's obviously going to be a different weighting, different geometry. Um, we might try weight, weighing both levers. It's an interesting project, this one, to, to solve um, as economically as possible because the client was trying to buy the piano economically. But obviously um, that's the problem. So going back to the previous comment, please enlist a technician if you've got any doubts at all about the restoration.